Freezing rain created some very slick conditions this morning, and it really seemed like there were crashes everywhere. Channel 3's Connor Lewis is joining us now. Connor, this is really a perfect storm for accidents all across the state. What happened here? Yeah, Aaron. So first things first, we would not describe this morning's event as an ice storm. That's for sure. The first thing I noticed when I woke up today is I looked at the tree branches and there was barely any ice on them, right? So that I was I woke up and I was like, okay, you know, everything's normal here. Um, but what we did have was a glazing event. That's what we we're forecasting last night, and that's what we ended up with for today. We got an inch or excuse me, one tenth of an inch of freezing rain. And with that being said, it was in a short amount of time. So in about two hours, kind of a quick hitting tenth of an inch of freezing rain was enough to give us, you know, these really perfectly fine roads around seven o'clock in the morning to some very slippery conditions by 830. So some people were on the road. Everything's fine. You know, maybe you're going the speed limit, not going that slow. And then half hour later, 45 minutes later, everything's covered in a sheet of ice. And right around that morning commute, just super bad timing for us. Yeah, that's what I was just going to ask you about. It was crazy because everything was fine one second and then really just a few minutes later, utter chaos. How could the weather just change so quickly this morning? Well, we had a warm front come through, so when things are fine initially, um, that is when we see a, a recipe for um, for some freezing rain. So um, our temperatures were below freezing last night, and then we have all that cold air that's stuck in one place. Everything's dry, right? But then as soon as we get that precipitation, it falls as snow, melts as rain, and then it comes to the surface on pond contact with the surface, turns into that freezing rain. We have all that ice everywhere, and uh, the issue was the the um, the roads. Not many of them were treated. And and subsequently, you know, we just put that in our pile of untreated roads. So the sidewalks we knew were going to be bad. Your front porch might be bad. And it turns out in this case that the roads and even highways were bad as well. All right. Meteorologist Connor Lewis breaking down exactly what happened this morning for us. Connor, thank you so much. And still ahead tonight, helping local high school.